Hey, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? So today we're doing a very different and exciting type of video, which is ranking some of the Pretty Little Liars outfits and fashion. This includes their evolution throughout the seasons, as well as their formal outfits and some more casual everyday wear. So I'll conclude with saying which liar I thought had the best fashion and the best style overall. You know that I'm a huge fashion guru. Wait, does that mean I'm experienced with it? Because I'm not saying that I'm just saying I love fashion and I'm so passionate about it and actually for each of my videos depending on the topic and the theme and the type of show I will wear an outfit that matches the theme and whatever I wear will be tailored to the type of video I'm doing and today I'm actually wearing a little pretty little lies inspired outfit I'm dressed as Spencer today how cute is that I know it's so cute one of you guys said I looked like Spencer in the last video and I could not tell you how happy that made me I was like thank you thank you for recognizing me because I love Spencer so much but we have to talk about this let's do it so I want to look at formal wear first because of COVID it's so sad I didn't get to have a prom I didn't get one so I didn't get a prom I'm still not over it I'm still not over it no prom no formal wear no party no big dress no after party none of it so I remember when I was younger I was living my life through the lies a bit in terms of whenever they went to a social event and they got to dress up looking at which outfit do I like the best which one would I wear if I was one of the girls at this event so seeing their outfits and their fashion really gave me a lot of inspiration for the kinds of clothes I wanted to wear and opened me up to a new world of fashion and style and the outfits in the show are pretty iconic I think and the fashion designer did a great job with showcasing the different girls' personalities through their clothes. So let's start with the formal wear. And the first one I want to talk about is what the girls wore to a homecoming dance. And this was very early on in season one. So coming in at number one with a really good outfit is what Aria wore. She has this lovely black outfit with this puffy skirt, very ballerina style. She does this a lot, but with some of her outfits in the later seasons, like season four, when she does the ballerina thing, it actually doesn't flatter her and it looks childish and unsexy whereas in this she looks hot it's just a bit more flowery and feminine but in a very good way so although it is puffy and stuff it still has this kind of feminine classy sophisticated elegant edge to it which I really like and it's got the coolest little embellishments on the top part a nice handbag it's just a very badass powerful look but coming in at number two is what Emily wore she's got this really nice blue dress which I don't remember her wearing Wearing that color very much but it looks really good on her here and it looks slightly cheaper than Aria's dress which is why it's ranked slightly below Aria's dress at number three we've got Spencer this dress is totally fine there's nothing wrong with it it's very slimming and the necklace is fine but it's just something about it looks a bit trashy I don't know what it is I just am not the biggest fan also it looks like it's slipping down she needs a bit of a hoist like a bit of a support system going on so it's a bit saggy um, around the bodice area but it's fine it's nice I do like it and coming in at number four with an outfit I actually don't like is what Hannah's wearing I really loved what Hannah was wearing in season one and two with a passion because she looks like she should look like someone who's trying to fit into the popular crowd and is being the queen bee but with this dress I didn't get queen bee vibes it was like she was trying really really hard and to be fair I'm sure that was the intention of the costume designer to make it look like Hannah was trying to be prom queen and trying to stay stand out and it's just not nice like I love feathers but somehow the feathers here are just a bit all over the place and I find the neckline really ugly somehow with the necklace and a bit gaudy a bit over the top in my opinion again by the way I'm going to get pretty opinionated with this so if you disagree that's totally fine but I'm just not the biggest fan of this outfit and I think it makes her look too much like a chicken and I'm not into it now we have to talk about what they wore to the masquerade ball in season two and Hannah does come in at number one here so she does pull it together in season two with this beautiful beautiful Juliet inspired dress she literally looks like Juliet from Romeo and Juliet she's got this beautiful mask and this baby doll pink lip and lovely smoky eye that's slightly understated but still like done up and I love that the smoky eye isn't too heavy it's just beautifully applied it's got this long train and oh my god I love it a little belt around the waist and a corset I cannot wear corsets when I wear corsets they just don't fit because often they have built-in cups with my cup size to waist ratio it just does not work it just looks really bad and it 
never fits properly around the, the boob area and I can't really wear strapless bras because I don't give enough support and it just does not work for my body type but I've always envied people who can wear corsets and look amazing in them and Hannah is one of those people who looks amazing in a corset because it actually fits and it fits around the cup and it just looks really beautiful and I love the big thick sleeves I love thick sleeves I really like spaghetti straps too but they've become too common and I think we've forgotten about floaty sleeves and thick straps and on her these thick white straps look amazing and I just love this dress I love the little belt it's not the same on the top as it is on the bottom and if you look at the bottom of the dress it's white but the top part's different and because of that the dress has so much variety and texture whereas it's not too much of the same thing from top to bottom so I absolutely love it so she just suits this so much this romantic very feminine very flattering and beautiful look coming in at number two is Emily who looks incredible and to be honest she is tied with Hannah here I don't think this dress is any worse than what Hannah is wearing to the masquerade ball because this perfectly encapsulates Emily's personality because it's funky and you know down to earth but still feminine this greeny blue color on her is to die for and with her hair oh my gosh the whole thing the bottom of this dress with all the little wavy tiered stuff going on I don't know what you call that but it's amazing and then the top with this really cool what do you call that design that gives her that hourglass shape because the shape of the dress is literally doing that and it looks unbelievable so I love that on her Next, coming in at number three is Aria. I love the symbolism of this dress because it's like the black swan, the symbolism in all the posters of the black swan, which shows that maybe Aria is deceitful or more than her appearance shows. So I love that and I love that it's a bit darker, like she's got this very thick mask which covers a lot of her face. And it's one of the reasons why I was thinking she was A when I was watching that part of the show because she looks a bit like a villain going to prom for the first time, but she's got a great bomb red lip and a really cool side ponytail that looks very luscious very moisturized I know I'm going really in depth here but the thing I'm not a big fan of is this big grandma y chokey necklace and also it's because I can't wear that type of jewelry because my I've got really small hands really small feet everything so when I wear big chunky pieces of jewelry it just doesn't work and it looks too big for me and I think because Ari is quite small it also just looks odd somehow and the dress as well as much as I like the puffiness of it and I like how simple it is I think she looks a bit too much like a piece of candy um, and it's not the most elegant and the gloves as well they're very thick and leathery and it's just a bit chunky so I can't say I'm the biggest fan of it it's nice okay it's not bad at all but it's not my favorite and as for Spencer I have to say her dress is my least favorite it's funny Spencer's style I absolutely love throughout the show consistently I think it's really good just she never really wears anything bad it's just consistently either fine or really nice she never has any really bad fashion moments where I'm like yikes whereas Aria can either look really incredible or really really bad and when Aria looks bad in her outfits because the fashion's bad she looks properly bad it can be really hit and miss whereas with Spencer because her style is quite simple it's hard to actually mess it up and get it wrong but with this again I don't hate it I actually think the costume designer did an excellent job with all their dresses they all look great but it's just Spencer looks slightly less great she looks just nice but it's not anything outstanding the mask is nice because it's like lots of different branches it's thin and spidery but her hair is very boring and it looks a bit dry a bit flat a bit uh, a bit meh and the necklace I don't know what it is about that necklace but it's like a dog collar or something or a bow tie and I just don't like it I'm not sure it really matches the dress and the dress itself is fine but almost too simple compared to what the other girls are wearing just a bit boring and a bit forgettable whereas with the other girls I distinctly remember it but with her I'm like there's nothing inherently wrong with it but it's just a bit boring but let's talk about now season three with what all the girls wore on the Halloween train because this was a very iconic episode in the show definitely fun and different to what is usually done on the show and they all got dressed up as different characters for Halloween so coming in at number one 
of course, is Hannah, who was dressed as Marilyn Monroe, which is possibly one of my favorite looks on Hannah because she actually looks like Marilyn Monroe. She's got the little dot above the lip. She's got the red lip. She's got the pretty wig and everything looks great. And it's clearly a Halloween costume. It doesn't look like the sort of thing you'd stroll down the street wearing, but that's the beauty of it. It looks like she's having loads of fun in it. It's got a lovely open back. White on Hannah is beyond gorgeous. It just makes her skin pop and look so glowy. She looks very old. Hollywood glamour back to a time in fashion I really miss where it was like ultra feminine and ultra just oozing with sensuality and that's why I love it so much but Aria is almost she almost made my number one because she looks awesome she's dressed as Daisy from the Great Gatsby which again is very symbolic when you consider Daisy's personality in the Great Gatsby and Aria is just beautiful in this. She really suits the flapper style. I love the color. I love big embellishments and the headpiece and it's just very in your face, snazzy jazz hands and she just is very, very pretty in this. Next is Spencer in a very simple but elegant blue number. The reason why this isn't ranked higher is because, again, not quite as memorable as Aria and Hannah, but she looks classy. I like the gloves. I like how beautifully this dress frames her figure and shows off how gorgeous it is. And the color's nice, but again, it's just a little bit... Yeah, a bit simple. Again, nothing wrong with that. She looks bloody amazing, but Spencer can look good in anything. That's the point. So no, it's the bottom of the dress. It's too simple or something. I don't know. Something about it isn't making me want to rank it higher, but she still looks beautiful and very elegant. But unfortunately, coming in at number four is Emily. And unfortunately, I actually don't like her outfit. It's not even like, oh, she looks great, but it's just not as good as the other girls. No, she actually doesn't look great, in my opinion, simply because if she was gonna dress up as a superhero, or an action figure or wear a leotard. There are so many really cool and really inventive ways she could have done that, but I feel like this costume looks really cheap compared to the other girls. Like she got it from a pound shop and I would never wear that to a Halloween party because I would wear what the other girls are wearing. So again, it's me projecting, well, what would I wear and what would I want to look good in? But I'm just not a huge fan. I don't even think it's nice though. It's not even like a show-stopping outfit in its own way. I just think it's meh. Now I want to talk about season four with what the girls wore in that Ravenswood episode where they got all dressed up in these cool historical costumey outfits and they all looked great. Again, the costume designer did such a good job because everyone looks amazing. So if I'm saying someone is coming in at number four, it's not because they look bad. It's just because I thought someone else looked better, but everyone looks bloody amazing. And I love how the outfits show their personalities so perfectly. She could not have done a better job with the costumes. But coming in at number one, yet again, because because she's just a queen, is Hannah. I love this outfit. She looks like Rose from Titanic and so elegant. I love the little details on the shawl she's wearing, the green and yellow and white, just, oh, and the belt and the way the dress hangs, all Grecian style, with the way it splits down the middle and boots with the lace up and the vintage detailing. She just looks so chic. It makes me think of better days in fashion where people actually wore dresses and put lipstick on and put makeup on and put on a pretty shawl and did unique things with their clothes and didn't just wear sweatpants as much as I love sweatpants so I'm just in love with this look and I want to have that dress. Next coming in at number two is Spencer which may surprise you because it is quite an understated look so you could forget about it you could overlook it and look at Hannah who's very much blingy but when you look at Spencer's outfit at first glance maybe you don't notice it but it's extremely figure hugging in a really flattering way with a little bustle out the back of the dress which kind of does that like a curve out the back which I really love. I love how much skin it covers which I know might sound weird but it makes her seem really mysterious and really alluring with the big hat and the high collar and she just looks extremely sophisticated with the fur and the flowers on the hat and everything so I absolutely love this. Coming in at number three is Emily who also looks really amazing. This is one of my favorite outfits on her because she looks like a little sailor combined with a pirate and a businesswoman at the same time. I like that her dress isn't as like feminine and flowery as Hannah's because Emily's style is just not like that. She's more practical and earthy and this is just the sort of thing I could imagine Emily wearing when she dresses up because the colors are simplistic, the patterns are simplistic, nothing's too over the top, everything's just nice to look at, easy on the eye. And finally, Aria also looks beautiful. I love the big choker. Aria is quite expressive with her fashion and I know she's known as the compassionate one, but she's more 
passionate, like she's just very fiery, very intense. And this outfit shows that she's really willing to stand out and experiment, which is why I love it so much in her. The only reason why it's ranked lowest is because I do feel that it's slightly childish and just a little bit too much in terms of what I would wear on Halloween or what I would wear out to a party. Um, and also the color as well as just a bit flashy for my liking. Now I want to talk about, I think this is in season four too, the film noir episode, which is called, what was it called? I don't even know, but everyone was dressed up like it was the 1920s or 1940s in this old Hollywood glamour black and white style, which was absolutely incredible. Probably my favorite episode of Pretty Little Liars artistically and in terms of the fashion, because everyone looks incredible with all the girls. I know like for instance, the girl who played Alison, Sasha, she was having a real problem with her weight that was really affecting her self-esteem because she kept gaining weight because of some really serious health condition and because of that she said that it was making her feel bad because people were bullying her about it she just looks so incredible in these outfits and she just looks so comfortable and so beautiful that I feel like it doesn't matter how you feel in your body on that particular day because any of these outfits could flatter you and it doesn't matter what you look like you could be anyone from any background but when you put on these kinds of outfits outfits they just make anyone look beautiful and just look so put together and like the best version of yourself so every single girl looked top notch in these film noir episodes and the most beautiful they would ever looked in the whole show because something about it just oozes elegance when you look at Alison she's my number one the outfit on her suits her so much she looks exactly like Marilyn Monroe or some old pinup doll or vintage star from like the 1950s and the style really suits her the hairstyle really suits her and it's like her best features are on display and again like I said she's looking like the best and most confident version of herself which I absolutely love and coming in at number two is Aria who again just looks really good in this vintagey style and I love the stark black and white outfit this really beautiful heavy makeup look same with Hannah she looks like the cutest little thing with her little blouse and the polka dots everything just completely flatters her and as for Emily, it sounds like I'm being critical, like, oh, she's number four on the list, but she looks awesome. It's one of my favorite looks on her. The hair looks amazing. The dress is amazing. The night dress is amazing. The makeup's incredible. So I really love it. And I love that she's doing something a little bit different by wearing a dress because she often doesn't wear dresses. And finally, Spencer also looks incredible. And I love the nightgown. I love the hair, the makeup. The only reason she's ranked the lowest is because I like the more girly girl outfits. And this is a bit more businessy and not as out there which is the key to a lot of Spencer's style I think is that it's quite preppy but it's just not for me in terms of what I would wear but that's the only reason this is ranked lower because she looks awesome now I think this wasn't season four too and this was the wedding episode where the girls all got dressed up in wedding dresses I think it was called unbridled and this was the episode where to be fair I think it was intentionally done because the girls didn't really want to be at this event and it's sort of reflected through the clothes they're wearing because I did not like any any of the wedding dresses. Coming in with the one I dislike the most is actually Aria's dress. It just looks so incredibly childish, too much happening at once, and it would be really hard to feel sexy in a dress like this because it just looks so childish. When you've got the big pearl necklace and the bow on top of the head and the whole, is it tulle, tulle? That whole flowy dress and then the big bow on the waistline. It's the sort of thing I would have worn when I was six. And next is Hannah, the same thing. I feel like, how could you feel attractive in this dress? Like it just looks quite cheap and rectangular. The actual shape of the dress is rectangular. And I've seen that Hannah look so much better than other stuff. So I'm not sure this dress really does her justice. And even the hairstyle, it's like none of their hair is done. And, and next is Spencer. This is moderately better. I do like the corset to be fair. I like the sort of under boob corset thing. I think that's very pretty and very flattering, but everything else is just boring. And even with Emily, she's got my favorite dress out of all of them. I really love the embellishments and all the little details, but it's very, again, Again, boring and forgettable. Now let's talk about what they wore in season four, which was the Christmas ball, where all the girls were wearing winter outfits. Now I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like what any of them were wearing. 
aside from Alison in this episode. I remember distinctly watching this episode and being like, I don't like any of their outfits. Is it just me? Because everyone's like, oh my God, Pinterest board, look at these dresses. But I would not wear any of these out. I would find it so hard to feel like attractive and badass in any of these outfits. So we'll start with my least favorite, which is actually Hannah. The one redeeming thing, I hate the dress, but I love her makeup. The eyeliner and the lipstick looks truly incredible. It's so well applied as well, so I love that. But in terms of the dress, it looks so bad. Like it looks incredibly cheap. The lace is so gross and chunky and too much of the same thing and really frumpy. And with Aria, again, it's moderately better because it looks quite expensive, the dress. Like it looks like she spent a lot of money on it, but it just doesn't pay off because as much as I love the ballerina style on Aria and the tutu style, again, it's almost too much to the point that it looks very childish and very overdone and just like it would be really hard to feel womanly and to feel grown up in the dress, to feel mature and not very confident. So that's why I ranked it lower. And Spencer, I feel like you could feel confident in what she's wearing, but I don't feel like it's the most flattering. I don't know why I don't like it, but I just don't. Emily's is better because the color's interesting and I like the sort of asymmetrical shapes she's got going on, the whole geometric squares and the little V on the dress. But the one dress I actually genuinely think is really amazing is Alison's because she's got this great silver glittery makeup like an ice queen and she looks like an actual snow queen from Narnia in this dress the gray and all the different textures and I think it really flatters her she looks really beautiful now let's talk about season five which is in the dollhouse the interesting thing about this is the girls did not pick out these outfits for themselves it's what a their stalker and their enemy chose for them to wear and what a thought they would like to wear and you can tell because none of the girls really look confident in their outfits or like they would have chosen them themselves and you can sort of see that it's like what a thought would suit their styles but it doesn't look very good so starting with Spencer this dress is very grandma I really dislike it I love Victorian attire I love ball gowns I love old-fashioned stuff but all this does is look cheap and frumpy and even with Emily's it's just badly done the dress the velvet with the waistband nothing goes nothing works and then with Hannah this is noticeably better but I just don't like it it looks like every other prom dress on display like there's nothing unique about it or inventive or like she's tried something different with it. The one I do like more which is coming in at my number two is Mona because the dress on her is actually very pretty I think and I like the neckline and, and I like the satiny silky texture but coming in at number one with the dress I actually genuinely really love is Aria's dress because I love this red whiny colored shawl thing around her. Now let's talk about I think this is season six which is around the time that they get the A reveal and all the girls are wanting to go to prom but they can't so they're doing it at home instead and again I don't like any of these outfits aside from Allison's and maybe Aria's but everything else I just think is bad like I'm like what are these outfits and to be fair it's fairy tale inspired so they are doing fairy tale characters so Spencer looks a bit like Ariel maybe and Emily's the evil queen Hannah's maybe Rapunzel don't even know and Aria's Snow White so my least favorite has to be Emily's dress because I really hate the whole chunky cheap gray and black color palette and the crown I just don't like it I feel like it's so boring and even with Hannah's dress I'm just not feeling it with the neckline and the waistline and the boots with Spencer's I just find it boring even though the actual fit on her is really nice but with Aria and Allison I actually like that their dresses are quite inventive and different to anything I've seen and I really like that Aria's is a two-piece it's different now we have to talk about their casual wear so what the girls wear throughout the show so in terms of whose fashion I liked the most in season one in terms of everyday fashion was actually Aria she is giving off those I'm not like other girls but in a good way kind of edgy fashion funky fashion like she's an actual artist but I really love all of her outfits the little red dress she wore and this beautiful blouse with the red skirt and this was around season one and two so her golden days of fashion in my opinion where it is a bit out there but you could actually imagine yourself wearing the clothes yeah this is season two she's got this incredible ballerina style skirt she wore to a funeral that just flatters her 
us so much. It's so puffy with these little black heels and this incredible high necked red blouse. It always inspire you to push yourself out of your comfort zone and experiment with different things. And I just love how unique her style is. It looks really expensive and like she's really good at matching different pieces and seeing what looks good with what. And coming in at number two, in my opinion, in season one and two is Hannah. I feel like Hannah looks beyond incredible in these outfits. I love this pink dress she wore to a fashion event because the peplum thing in her looks really good where it's a top or a dress and it flares out slightly and then comes in again. A lot of the blouses she wore actually in that time and the ruffled tops look extremely good on her as well as like the baby blue and the hot pink. So it's like she just knew what worked for her and she wore it. When she does a big messy bun or those soft beachy waves, it just looks good on her. So I love it. Next we got Spencer. I really loved her outfits. They were just really beautiful, very sophisticated. Also shows that she's a bit of an old soul because some of these clothes I could not imagine a 16 year old or 17 year old necessarily wearing. But whenever she does like the halter neck and the sweetheart necklines, they look really good on her as well as like the high tights and the little cardigans and the berets. It just shows like her sophistication. And finally, Emily's fashion, I did like in season one and two. I think it was pretty good. I really loved the green dress she wore to the fashion show. I love it when she does like sweaters and that beautiful blue dress she wore on the fashion show catwalk, as well as that beautiful blue dress she wore in season two and her Halloween look where she looks like Pocahontas. But aside from that, when you look at a lot of her outfits, they are very much simple like a t-shirt, a singlet, a leather jacket and I find it really hard to remember any of her different looks. They don't stand out to me and they are actually the most realistic to what a teenage girl would wear and they show you know that she's a swimmer, that she's sporty. I have to say that it's just not the type of clothing that I would wear even though most teenagers would probably wear it and I just don't like it very much to be honest and with a lot of her clothes I know she's meant to be the sporty one but sometimes I was like this is so boring and it's like they just bought whatever they could buy from Target or M&S and were like there you go but now let's talk about season three and four again with Emily she has to come in at the bottom I'm afraid because even when she wears a top I kind of like it's always like that's all right but it's never a standout and she's always overshadowed by the other girls in terms of their fashion. Aria in season three and four, I actually really love her style and I really love how expressive she's become with her clothes but at points I feel like it was taken a bit too far where it didn't even seem expressive anymore. It was just a bit much. For instance, when she clashes her patterns sometimes, it just looks like the sort of thing no one would ever wear because you'd be laughed at. Or when she did that cartoon print dress, it just I didn't like it. I wouldn't mind if it was maybe a little piece of the top, but it's like a full body top to bottom cartoon print dress or something. But the thing is then when she did a dress I really liked, I mean I properly fell in love with it. So it's one extreme or the other. And as for Spencer, her style's nice, can be a bit boring in my opinion, but that's just because I wouldn't wear it. But I think it really does emphasize her personality and what a hard worker she is and how classy she is and stuff. A lot of them remind me of Audrey Hepburn actually, like a little bit conservative, not super flat but just very you know sophisticated and very tasteful and as for Hannah I loved her style in season three and four very summery and then businessy a lot of blazers and pretty summery dresses but in season four I have to say I felt like her style got quite boring like it was a lot of very boring blazers and boring dresses I just didn't like it but still nothing beats Alison's attire they did not know how to dress plus size girls because her outfits were truly disgusting and when we look at season five six and seven Emily unfortunately has the weakest ranking I don't like any of her outfits. I liked maybe three pieces, but everything I thought was so boring. Compared to Spencer, for example, whose style, yes, could be a bit dull at points, but there were so many cool pieces like this trench coat and her nice businessy dresses. It was just more dynamic and interesting. And with Hannah, so much of her personality is expressed through her fashion. She had this emo stage, which I really loved because it showed her going through this dark spiral. And then this recovery stage around season, the end of season five and six, where she's kind of coming into herself and finding a style that works for her and it shows her identity and her emotional state because by season seven she's wearing clothes that show that she's really come into her own. She's not trying too hard to be popular. She's got these really simple but beautiful up with the trends outfits but I have to say overall Aria's outfits were actually my favorites because when you look at them in season five, six and seven she's got some of the coolest leathery tops and silky satin tops and this incredible thing she wore in season seven for her mum and dad's wedding which was like this collared top with this white blouse over the 
the top and she's so good at layering and overall she has to be my favorite in terms of all the girls because even when she screws up it's obvious that she tried okay so i just had to pop outside for a second and i couldn't film inside but i just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to see more regular content i've got so many exciting videos planned for movies and tv shows and all sorts of things i'm pre-recording this but by the time this is up this will probably be the last video in my pretty little liars series i need to cover other content as well and i'm not purely a pretty little liars analysis account you know but i just wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching the series because i've really appreciated it and i'm sure a lot of you actually came to my channel because of this series but overall you know i need to actually talk about other things but i really hope you enjoyed this video i will link um, an end screen or a playlist or something at the end so you can go and watch all my other videos about the show if you haven't seen it already and yeah i'll see you guys next time you're so cute